What's up guys, Tim Little, JD, Josiah Little, and welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're going out for a late afternoon session out on the water chasing spotted bass. Should be a good one, let's go. Keep your real tub. Keep your real tub up. Come up here. Come up here. Come on. Come over here. Watch your walking. Oh, real tip up. Nice one, dude. Don't get the net. No, I'll get it. Keep your rod tip up. Is that first cast? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't. Let it pull drag. Oh, don't, don't. Let it pull drag. Let it pull drag. Okay, now real. Oh, it's pulling hard. Keep reeling. Oh, nice spot. <laughs> don't, don't wrench them. Don't wrench them. Yeah, don't get them out. No. Here, come here. Ready? Oh, we just spit up some bait. Ready? That's my first spot ever. Oh. That's my first spot ever. Come show to the camera. First cast. First cast. Come here. Come on. First Come on cast. Up. First cast. First cast and first spotted bass. <laughs> Here, you want to hold him? You want to fill his teeth? Here. <laughs> Flip him. Hold him to the camera. Hold him to the camera. <laughs> All right, let him go. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Hey, nice. What was that? Just fan cast, Judy. Like that. They do. They pull you. What? What'd you say? I never said that. I said they they hit really hard. Yeah, sometimes they'll be like dunk nothing, dunk dunk, nothing. It's the smaller ones, and you just keep reeling, and then all of a sudden they'll go dunk, and that's the bigger one that came in and ate it. The little ones did. Yeah. So I am. How do you know? Because I just caught one. Yeah. It's bad luck to catch one on your first cast, right? Just it's good luck. It's bad luck. Good luck. That's what they say. I mean, you don't want to catch one on your first cast when you go on a fishing trip. It means you won't catch any the rest of the day. Not true. I'll even prove it today. I hope so. Or tomorrow. I caught one on my first cast. There you go. But give it, give yourself some more slack. You can cast farther with more slack out. There you go, real. Oh, Come yeah. on up here. Stop. Oh, he spit it.
out there, there's going to be a bunch. The fatty. <laughs> nice spot. Thanks, dude. Get that underspin. <laughs> All right, guys. So what we're doing? Just moving spots. The first spot we keep saying spot locations. Uh, it's windy, so we the first location, first spot we went to was just a, a break with a hump, and Josiah caught one on his first cast on an underspin. All three of us are throwing underspins right now. With the wind, we wanna be throwing that blade, that extra flash vibration. But uh, we're gonna just start jumping locations, spot hopping to windblown points, windblown banks, that sort of stuff. Um, you know, a lot of times with this wind, it keeps the bait down so you won't see the fish blowing up on the surface, but um, we're gonna keep moving around and try and catch some more. There was no bite on that at all, by the way. It was just weight. Just got heavy. <laughs> you guys, I don't like the way you're thinking, Diddy. Josiah. Real, get up here. Keep your rods up. Come up, come up here, come up here, come up here. Help him, Diddy. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, I got him, I got him. Josiah, when you fuck one, you have to come here on camera. Okay, we'll cast again. Cast, dude. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I got him. That is a jumbo on the 110 Junior Plus One. Ooh. Come here, Diddy. Get in here. Desai, get in here. Don't block Desai. Desai, get in here. <laughs> nice one. That 
110 plus one. Dude, that is a tank. Look at the gut. <laughs> That's a big one. Hmm? I want to know how you cast that far. How I cast that far? It's proper reel adjustments and uh, strength. Can you cast me? I'm going to set this one to live well so I can get a picture and a weight. Say cheese. Big old spotted bass. Yep. <laughs> All right. Biggest one today. Right. Can I release yeah. it? Let him go. Come over Hold here. On. You dropped already? Uh-huh. Quick release. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Let these two run the front. Just had a little bit of a discussion trying to figure out what is the pattern. So. Uh, like I was explaining to them, I'm not sure if I got on camera or not, so I'll explain our conversation. Every time you get bit, you lose a fish, you catch a fish, you miss fish, whatever, it's a piece to the puzzle. You're trying to, in the grand scheme of things, you're trying to put this puzzle together, break this lake down, put the pieces together. So all those fish catches um, give you clues on what's going on. So far, we've caught them on humps, we've caught them on windblown points and we caught them in the tops of treetops on both of those so humps and windblown points tops of treetops so that's there you go Aww. oh did you lose them yeah i felt it go dunk, but very light did you get hung up time out all right so what i was saying was every every little clue is part of that puzzle right it's a puzzle piece so um is you're idling to your next spot or you're sitting floating trying to pick your next spot just kind of process what you have so far you know you have humps you have windblown points you have treetops then you sit there you look at your map or maybe you've been to this lake before you fish history you know oh i know where there's a windblown point if the wind's coming out of the west i know where i can fish so um, all those things come into play when you're trying to figure out the pattern so over here we fished three docks along this shallow on the shallow shoreline none of us had a bite so i said to the kids so what do you guys want to do do you want to you got one <laughs> do you do you want to continue this whole stretch or do you want to go continue running the stuff that we've caught fish on so they voted to come to a hump which is where we're at now so hopefully they can catch some more <laughs> He's all over the place, huh? Yeah. Keep your rod tip up. Keep your rod tip in the water. Oh, he is That's dying. a big spot. Big one. Big one. No, don't let him go. Come back this way. Bring him this way. Bring him that way. This way. Nice, dude. <laughs> oh, look, he spit out a big old. <laughs> Big old piece of fish. Okay, watch your rod. That nice work, dude. Is that the biggest one of the day? Maybe. 
Looks the other like one was 4.2. 4 4 That's a good one. That's a fatty. <laughs> Largo shad. Okay, hold your fish. Spotted? That's a spot. That's a, that's a spotted piggy. Yeah, which one should I, should I fish this or this? That's awesome, dude. That was fun. You can go up. <laughs> there you go up. You gotta hold it like this. Well, I don't want to cover your face. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get him unhooked. Got it right in the roof of his mouth. Right in the roof. All right, Ooh. put this away. Mm -hmm. That's a fat. You want to wait on this one? Oh, sure. Okay, we'll put him in the live wall. I'll grab the scale out, but that's a little porker. Nice pork, dude. Yeah, today was a struggle. I haven't, wasn't catching any. I got bit a couple times today, but I haven't caught any. And then we pulled up to a point, and we were fishing here for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And we decided to start fishing the docks, and the first dock I uh, cast behind, there was a line of jet skis, and I casted behind the line of the back, and I felt the bite. It just got heavy, and then it's, I didn't hook it right good and then I kept reeling and about like three seconds later I hooked it and yeah <laughs> so yeah we are fishing to point there's fish out there uh, just not getting any activity came into this little bay it's the closest bay to this main lake point and it's all shade and uh, it's a little hard because there's three of us right so we're throwing different baits Josiah is following behind us with a little whopper plopper but as soon as we got past that row of docks or jet skis on the dock JD threw back there and you missed it. You're like, oh, I, it just stopped. I'm like, yeah, that was a bite. And then all of a sudden another one came and ate it. So nice work. It's been a little bit of a struggle for these guys. Uh, there's been a lot of time where I've been sitting back here, just letting them kind of figure things out, run up front, do all that stuff. But uh, that is a really nice spotted bass. That's his first ever spot. Really, really cool. We're gonna get a weight on it and let it go. Okay, you ready for a weight? Yep. Zeroed scale. Ready? Let go. Mm -hmm. You call it. Three, four, three, five. Three point four five. So three and a half pounder, dude. That's a pretty good nice spot. <laughs> Big old belly. Really cool. You want to let your fish go? Yeah. Can I feel stone? Let me get a picture with you on my phone real quick. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let me get my phone. It's your first ever spot? Yep. Three and a half pounder. That was fun. <laughs> nice work, dude. Did it just jump? Yeah, yeah. yeah. your bait was gone. <laughs> it was a little guy. It was a little guy. Dad, it was like the size of JD's. Mm -mm. Speaking of that, did we release it? Picked up the underspin, that Nishini underspin. Really liked that bait. First cast, got bit and broke off. I'm throwing five pound. As I came to sit down and talk to you guys, tell you what happened, apparently it jumped and tail walked and walked and showed my bait. But they're eating the underspin too. Okay, so we learned about how to do a milk run, <laughs> and we learned about patterns, and we learned what to like, where to cast, and not where to cast. <laughs> well, obviously we already learned that, but uh, we learned it more. And we learned how to make, you guys say something. Yeah. Say All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. Um, kids are saying they're hungry. 
plenty of daylight left, but I know what it's like to be out on the boat for a few hours and had a great day. Diddy caught his first and PB spotted bass, 3.45, just under three and a half pounds. That's a great spot. You caught one, Josiah caught one on his very first cast. We all know what that means, right? Did you catch any more today? No. Um, so like Not Josiah. True. And like Josiah was saying, uh, I was really talking about patterns and putting those puzzle pieces together like I was talking about with you guys earlier. Um, just taking the little, the little nuggets of info, where you're getting bit, where you're not getting bit, how you can um, duplicate it, right? So JD was looking at the map. He was looking at places that looked like where we had just been and got bit and caught fish, right? Um, but uh, it's a good day, you know? Anytime you're out with the, the kids, it's a good time catching fish. There was some arguing about what, who was eating which chips and drinking which drink and that sort of stuff, but it kind of goes with the territory. But uh, guys, we appreciate you for coming along for a few hours out on the water. Uh, if you like this type of video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys on the next video. <laughs>